This now, a team of international scientists have made a groundbreaking discovery, quite literally. They found that uh, plate tectonics started 3.3 billion years ago and not 600 million years later, as previously thought. How did they manage to do this? Well, the remains of a microscopic drop of ancient seawater gave them a vital clue. Jane? You have more on this. Yes, I do. I mean, it's a fascinating topic, and I didn't, I didn't realize actually how little I knew until I was doing the research. But the person who's going to tell us more, Vitz School of Geosciences, Professor Alan Wilson, joins us now to discuss. It's very good to have you here. Tell us more about your findings and how it all came to be. Well, the, um, the Earth is driven by its, this recycling process has been taking place for many billions of years. And um, that's a driving force for plate tectonics and the movement of continents and things like that. So it's very important in the history of the planet that we, want, we need to know when this process actually started. And uh, one of the ways we looked at this was to look at some very ancient volcanic rocks from Barberton called Comartiites. Uh, from the Kamati River. It's a type area. They were discovered exactly 50 years ago mm. this year. And in those rocks, we, um, there's certain minerals called olivine. And these, these crystals of olivine form from very deep down in the mantle, um, more than 300 to 400 kilometers depth. And in that olivine, they've trapped small part particles of melt coming from very deep down and they have preserved that signature uh, from the very early history, from uh, how, the, uh, from how the continental material and crustal material from the oceans went deep down into the mantle and then was incorporated into the olivine and those tiny particles of lava are, have been preserved all of this time and we analyzed those, they're very tiny, they're only 10 microns in diameter, 0.01 oh. of a millimeter, <laughs> And we analyzed that, those particles, uh, a team of um, f uh, uh, scientists from five different countries worked on this project. And from that, we were able to deduce that there was chlorine and from isotopic signatures and water. We now know there's a reservoir of water at 400 kilometers depth in the mantle. And that shows then that plate tectonics started 3.3 um, billion years ago, because that's the age of the rocks, and 600 million years older than was previously thought. So and, and what does that mean in the big picture? Well, it, uh, the Earth is continuously evolving. It has evolved from when it first formed over 4 billion years ago, and it's been cooling down, and so the whole structure of the planet has changed. And it, it creates the environment for life, and, um, and Earth as we know it. So we want to know when all of this started. And so it's really looking back in the history of the planet to give us more information on where we came from and where the planet came from and how it evolved through geological history. And uh, obviously that's important because now we've got the correct history, the correct information. Tell us more about tectonic plates and why they are so important. And if we didn't have them, I believe we'd look like Mars. Well, the plates are driven uh, because of the type of planet that we have, and, and the driving force behind that is water, in fact. Um, and without it, then the Earth would look like Mars. It would be a very uh, sterile, dormant planet. Um, but the water has created this environment um, for plate tectonics, which moves the plates and it controls things like earthquakes, volcanoes, stabilizes the oceans, um, affects the atmosphere and in fact created the environment for the first form of, for life forms to originally form on, the, on, our, on our planet. So it's really important that we know when all of this started and the, the building blocks as to when um, these processes started on the planet. And I guess very important for South Africa and our scientists here to have this sort of finding, this discovery? Yes, well, the, um, in South Africa we have some of the best geology in the world, particularly very ancient geology, and the rocks are very ancient, particularly in the Barberton area. Uh, they represent what the, uh, what the crust looked like of the planet uh, more than 3 billion years ago, 3, to 3 billion to 3.5 billion years ago. Um, so they preserve the history of the volcanic 
uh, episodes and volcanic uh, uh, eruptions that took place at that time. So it gives us an insight into what the planet looked like in the first quarter of its history. And these rocks are exceptionally well preserved in various parts of South Africa, Barberton being one, which is why it's now a national uh, it's a world heritage site, uh, to actually uh, preserve this history and all the evidence of the formation of our planet. Well, thank you for coming in and uh, explain to us what it's all about and your wonderful discovery, Alan Wilson. Thank you.